Jace Tunnel here. We're off the beach today and we are actually at the Texas State Aquarium where we're going to be talking to you about 10 facts about sharks. So let's get to it. So the first thing we need to talk about is how old sharks are. Now these sharks have been around over 450 million years. So they've evolved over time. But look at this one I'm by here right now. This is uh, the Megalodon. This one went extinct about three million years ago. If you think back uh, when there was dinosaurs, uh, they were around about 240 million years ago. So that means sharks were around even before dinosaurs. Did you know sharks? You can tell the species based on the tooth alone. So you can be able to grab a tooth and a scientist can say, oh, that's this species. There are literally rows of teeth, kind of like conveyor belt. Uh, most sharks have five rows of teeth, uh, except for, you know, different species have different things. One of them is the bull shark. That actually has 50 rows of teeth. Now, uh, any shark uh, can lose around 40 teeth a week. Dude, I'm glad that we don't have that many teeth because that's a lot of flossing. Have you ever seen a shark close up and it looks like it has all these freckles all over its head and face? Those are actually ampullae of Lorenzini and they are electromagnetic sensory organs that they can actually search out their prey in really murky water and uh, be able to help them feed. Now the scales of sharks are some of the most interesting of the fish. Uh, their, their scales are like sandpaper. So if you've ever moved your hand across sandpaper and it's real rough, um, that's what it feels like. And actually they have a layer on them uh, that's the same as uh, dentine, like what your teeth would have. Okay, man, okay, most of these are bamboo sharks. So let's see if we can touch them. Woo! Nice! They, are, they do feel like sandpaper. Now, sharks and their breathing habits. Uh, most sharks, they have to keep swimming, and that's called ram ventilation, where they have water coming in through their system uh, so that they can survive, basically. Uh, now, there are a couple of species that they can just lay on the bottom, and that, they have a spherical pump system that they can pull water in while they're, while they're just sitting there, and it circulates water over their gills so that they can survive. Now, sharks don't have any bones. That's right, no bones. So you might be thinking, how do they stay together? Well, they actually have something called cartilage, and that includes their vertebrae, their entire structure. It allows them to be able to move swiftly and fast. And think of cartilage, you know, humans actually have cartilage. In our ears, our nose, it's the same type of thing. Now, an interesting thing about this is their vertebrae, which is made of cartilage, actually has rings on it like a tree. And scientists can age a shark based on those rings. Now we can't talk about sharks without talking about reproduction. And so there's a couple of interesting things about these sharks. Uh, one is you can tell the difference between male and female. Males will have uh, claspers that come off the bottom side of the back end of the shark. Most sharks do what's called a live birth. So whenever they have babies, they will look like tiny sharks coming out. But there are a couple of species of sharks that do have eggs. And so that's something to look up uh, for another time. So that's it for this episode of Beach Coming. I hope you enjoyed the 10 facts about sharks here at the Texas State Aquarium. And we'll see you on the next episode.